Today we're going to be working on finding the probability of some random variables, specifically discrete random variables. Now it's called discrete random variables because the possible values of our x or the random variables will be whole numbers. So in this case, on problem number one, in North Carolina State University, the distribution of grades taking statistics 101 um, is given in the problem to get I mean, students getting an A in this university is about 26%, for B, 42%, and so on. Now, we're going to be answering probability questions on A, B, and C, given the distribution of grades for A up until F, where A is equal to 4 as our random variable. So, to uh, illustrate the random variable X, which is going to be... Um, the grades and uh, in this case our values for X will be 0 1 2 3 and 4. And the reason why we know it's going to be x equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4 because according to the given th um, values, a is 4, so b would be our 3, a grade of c is going to be 2, grades of d is 1, and f will be a grade of 0. So this will be the distribution of our random variable, and if we're going to uh, draw a table based on the information given. So we can have x as 0, 1, 2, and 4. And the percentages for the grade distribution to get a 0, it's going to be 2%. And to get a 1 will be 10%. To get a 2 will be a um, 10, uh, 20%, 42% uh, for 3, and A is going to be 26%. Now we know that this is a legitimate probability model, is when we add this all up, it will equal to 100%. And it will, if you use the calculator in adding this given values. So now that we have our table, our probability distribution, we'll be able to answer A, B, and C a lot easier because now we can visualize the word problem. Now for the first one, we need to write P of X greater than or equal to 3 in words. So P of X of 3 means B. That means what's the probability that a student will get a grade of B and above. So that will be our um, description for p of x greater than or equal to 3. So we'll have the percentage or probability so that is our description for p of x greater than or equal to 3 and to compute for that it is simply p of 3 plus p of 4 because x is greater than or equal to 3 where p of 3 is 0.42 and p of 4 is 0.26 so to add them up 0.42 plus 0.26 will give us 0.68 so about 68 percent of students in NCSU will receive a grade of B or higher based on the distribution now to answer letter B we need to write the probability of student getting a grade worse than a C in terms of the values of the random variables, so just like this one right here, and uh, find the probability of this event from happening. So it will be P of X grade worse than C. So C is, this is A, B, and C. This is C. Worse than that would be a grade of D or F. So that means we'll have p of x, we could either use um, less than or equal to 1, or we can use less than 2. 
So P of X is less than a grade of 2 or C. So that means we'll add P of 0 plus P of 1. And P of 2 is not included because it should be less than 2. And P of 0 is 0 0.02 and 0 0.10 for a total of 12%. So that is the probability of a student receiving a grade of C and lower. And for letter C, we need to find the probability that a student will receive a grade lower than an A. So lower than an A, this would be your A. Lower than that will be a grade of B and below. So that means our probability notation will be P of X less than a grade of 4 or A, which means we can add P of 0 plus P of 1 plus P of 2 plus P of 3. This is one way of solving it, and then another way of solving this problem is to find the complement of getting a grade of A. So if A is 0.26, we subtract it from 1, and we'll get our answer which is 1 minus 0.26, which is the same as this notation right here. And the probability of that happening, 1 minus 0.26, is equal to 0.74. So about 74% is the probability that a student will receive a grade lower than an A. So this is how we use random variables in answering our probability. Now in problem number two, we are given the random variable x, which is represented by the number of heads you obtain when you flip a coin three times. Now sometimes the probability question in random variables, you are given the information for the probability model, and sometimes you need to produce the table or the distribution of your random variable to be able to answer the probability question. So this one is an example wherein we need to produce the uh, grade, I mean the probability distribution from scratch. So here we're flipping a coin three times and x will be the number of heads we obtain from flipping it three times. So we can start with the first flip. So we have tails or heads. So this is a tree diagram that will help us find all the possible combination of getting tails and heads when you flip a coin three times. So this will be your second flip and your third flip. So with your tree diagram, you know that when you flip a coin three times, you could possibly get T, 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 or T, T, H. And to complete your set of outcomes, you'll have T, H, T, T, H, 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 T, T, H, T, H, 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 T, and H, 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 for a total of 8. So the sample space for this distribution will be 8. And now, to define what the variable x is in this situation, x will be the number of heads when you flip a coin three times. So to um, do a table, the possible values of your random variable will be um, zero because you can get zero heads. Example, a flip of TTT, so you can have zero. You can also have one heads, two heads, and a maximum of three heads because you're only flipping it three times. So to do your table, so x would be 0, 1, 2, and 3. And your probability will be found using your um, tree diagram. So the possible outcomes of getting 0 heads, we have t, t, t. So we only have 1 because all the rest of this will have h in it, so we have 1 out of 8. Getting 1 heads, we'll have 1, 2, 3, 3 out of 8. Getting 2 heads, we'll have 1, 
two, three, and getting three heads, we have one out of eight. For a total of eight out of eight. So this is a legitimate probability model. So now that we have our table, we are now ready to answer A, B, and C. So it's a lot easier when we have the table to answer probability questions on random variable. So we have A is the prob probability of getting exactly three heads. So P of X equal to three heads, where three, of course, or X is the number of heads. So it will be one over eight, because that's a probability that we found in our tree diagram. Now for letter B, we'll be finding the probability that we'll get at most two heads. So at most two heads, this one will be two heads. So at most means maximum. So that means we can possibly get two or one or zero heads. So P of X is less than or equal to two is our notation. And to find that, all we need to do is add P of zero P of 1 and P of 2, which is 1, 8 plus 3 over 8 plus 3 over 8. Now the denominators are all the same, so it's simple to add fractions like this. So we'll have 3 plus 3 is 6 plus 1 is 7. So we have 7 over 8 probability of getting at most two heads when you flip a coin three times. And for letter C, we're finding the probability of getting less than one heads. And this is our probability of getting one heads, and we need to get the probability less than that. So that means we're only including P of zero in our computation. So P of X less than one will simply be P of zero because one is not included, so we're just going to find the probability of one of, of zero, which is one out of eight. So the probability of finding A, B, and C, which is 1 over 8, 7 over 8, and 1 over 8, is done using the tree diagram and our probability model.